Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Welcome to my video channel today. And today I'm taking part in the Pootler's Team Designer Series Paper Video Hop. Um, if you don't know what a video hop is, we're all, there's several members of the team um, creating videos, video tutorials for you to watch. Um, and once you've finished mine, if you go down to the description box, you can then click on the next link and watch the next video. So you'll be able to watch a whole succession of our video tutorials and I hope you'll really enjoy them. Um, it's called the Designer Series Paper Video Hop because there's an offer on with stamping up at the minute, which means that if you buy three designer paper packs, you get one pack free. And we were all asked in this video to use um, some of the Designer Series paper that's in the offer. So this is the card that I'm going to be showing you how to make today. This was my card that I've made using this paper which is called Garden Impressions. It coordinates with a set called Abstract Impressions and with these framelets which are called Springtime Impressions. Um, and as you can see it's really pretty, pretty paper. I'm going to use different designs today. I'll just give you a quick glimpse of some of the other designs in the paper pack. It's a six by six pack, so they're not huge sheets, but there are some lovely designs in here. Really lovely, some subtle, some much more in your face, much more bright and um, loud, if you like. So that's one side, and then if I flip them over, you can see really nice abstracty designs, floral patterns, random, sort of abstract again. Really pretty, love that one. Um, really pretty papers, um, so you can choose, you can get these for free if you choose three other packs. Um, so we're going to make this card today. I'm going to use different papers from the pack to make it. I'm going to use a very different colour scheme for me. I'm going to use these two papers, which again are from the same pack. Different patterns on the back, but we're not going to use those. We're going to use these ones and. Um, it's really easy to coordinate these because you get one of the plainer ones and one of the more bold ones and the colours link up and they coordinate really nice. It's really easy to do a card where you need two different patterns of DSP. So what did we do? Right, I made a card blank slightly different to how I normally make my card blank. If you watch a lot of my videos you know that I usually make a 15 by 21 scored at 10 and a half card blank but today we're still going to do 15. I'm going to do that with my trimmer. Get the scoring blade out of the way so I need to cut. So that's 15 bit to one side but then it's only going to be 16 this way which is there right on the edge of my trimmer um, there hopefully um, because it's shallower because this piece protrudes out above so it's this bit is shallower than my normally cut normal card blanks so put that there and then we need to score this at eight and that's our card blank done. I'll need my trimmer again in a minute, but I'll just take it off there. Um, don't know where you're watching this from, but in the UK, we're actually having a bit of a heat wave at the minute. It is absolutely baking in my craft room and my hands are really sweaty doing this. So I hope it's gonna turn out all right. Right, there's my card blank. Um, I then need to do the panels. So what I did was I layered a layer of cardstock and a layer of DSP. And what I did was did, did each one half a centimeter smaller. So because my card measures eight by six, 15, 15 by 8, I'm going to do the next layer, 14 and a half by 7 and a half. So I'm going to take a piece of Knight of Navy, which is going to be my cardstock of you that I'm going to use, and I'm going to do it 14 and a half, get the scoring blade out of the way again, by um, 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 14 and a half by seven and a half. All the measurements will be on my blog, so there'll be a link to my blog below if you want to ha go and have a look and find out. So that should layer quite nicely onto there with a, just a little board around. There we go, can you see? Okay, and then we need a piece of DSP and that the DSP needs to be, again, a half a, half a centimetre smaller. I will put the imperial measurements on my blog as well so that you can do it in inches. If you're working in inches, you just break down, you go down by a quarter of an inch, but we go back down by half a centimetre this way. So we're going to go down to seven 
by 14 and hopefully that will layer nicely as well there we go that will layer on there I'm going to just put a bit of Tombow on there in a minute and glue that on okay and then the top panel I'm going to use another piece of navy which is going to measure six and a half by nine and a half centimeters so nine and a half this way and six and a half this way a lot of measurements to remember for this card and then the patterned paper the yellow patterned paper is going to be six by nine so six by nine there we go I think that's all the cutting we need to do so I can put the trimmer and all these bits out of the way now get those out of the way lovely so just going to come in here now and put a little bit of Tombow on the back of my just DSP try and get a nice fine line don't need too much because a little goes a long way with Tombow try and line this up um, and because it's Tombow it will give you a little bit of a chance to wiggle it into place if it's not quite straight the first time you set it down oh that looks nice I like this color I think it's going that way up it looks like the flowers are going that way so I'm going to put some glue on and put that put, mount that on that panel there we go that will be enough to hold that down it's quite strong the Tombow once it's dry there we go so just don't know if you can see against my grid paper but there's just a little border I lift it up can you see just a little border all the way around there okay and then this panel you just need to glue this onto here and then I've already die cut the butterfly from springtime impressions this is one of the dies um, from the set that coordinates with this paper and the stamp set and I've already cut it, die cut it out um, and I've got it here so this is the die set you get three dies in here this lovely big corner one which is gorgeous I've used that a couple of times on cards and that's really lovely then this little flower and then the butterfly which pops on there but I've already cut the butterfly out as you can see so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount my butterfly onto here with a little bit of Tombow but I'm only going to mount the um, the body of the butterfly I'm not going to gl put glue anywhere else because I want the wings to come up and be a bit three-dimensional so like so is that central-ish a bit over that side I think there we go is that more or less central oh, I think it's a bit wonky there we go a bit wonky yeah there we go that's fine and these legs will come up and I'm just going to use in this one I use some of our new artisan colored pearls um, in this one I'm going to use a couple of our um, adhesive, adhesive sequins and I think this one is mint macaron there's some very subtle oh it's moved because the glue is not dried um, let's sort that out there we go um, some very subtle colours in this um, pack of sequins. Right, do I need one or two or three, do you think? Do I need another one? Yeah, let's go with another one. There we go. And they're so easy to use, as you can see, because they're just self-adhesive. So no faffing around trying to stick them on. Just glues perfectly. And then all that's left to do is to stick this on there so that it raises up. And what I want is I want it to be... I want it to be about there because I want it to be about the same height so that's the right place so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a pencil mark on the back of my panel which is difficult to see because it's night of navy but I can just see that and then I know where I'm going to glue, where I'm going to glue it down to so that I have it the right because otherwise it won't fit in if you do it too high it won't fit in one of our envelopes which is a bit daft if you don't want to start making envelopes as well so going to go there so I'm going to do it upside down so I can see the mark and I can tell whether it's in the middle or not so like so hopefully when I turn it over that will look great there we go wow there we go lovely last thing left to do leave that there is just to print a um, sentiment and I'm using 
this lovely little birthday wishes which is from the varied vases set of um and it's just got this lovely little quirky script quirky font birthday wishes which i quite like um and so i'm going to print it in knight of navy onto just a little scrap of cardstock like so i might have been a bit heavy-handed there it might smudge i might have to do that again oh no that's fine okay not as heavy-handed as i thought oh so glad they brought out new design stamp pads i've never found those ones very easy um and i'm just going to use our um is it everyday label this one i'll put i'll put the information about the products i can't remember what this label is called but it's a really useful one because it's just long and thin with two pointy ends um so it's a, one i use quite a lot of the time so i'm just going to put that in there and punch there we go and my sentiment is just going to go down there like that so again another little bit of glue and onto there and that's my card done so i hope you like both my cards which one do you prefer i'm not sure now i love this navy paper it's not usually my kind of color but i love i'm loving that today um very sweet very easy and a little bit different with the the raised panel there just a little bit of a different design not quite a fancy fold but getting on there okay so that's me so please look down at the description and hop along to the next one in the in the hop there's some gorgeous projects out there you won't want to miss any of them um some really tal talented demonstrators in our team um i'm certainly going to sit and look watch them all um and i hope you'll come back and join me again soon if you have liked my video then please subscribe and you'll catch them all catch them all um whenever i um post one thanks very much for today bye